And the whole cost usually runs me about 25, 30 bucks for the sake, the beer and everything. Mm -hmm. um, this right here was, like I said, it was 18 bucks and it comes with actually, so this is what I like about it. We'll go over everything that it comes with. Unboxing video. So it comes with the dry Uzaki sake. Uzaki? Uzaki? Yeah, Uzaki. Well, it's nothing great or anything. It's, it, it's sake. Um, ceramic actual sake glasses. So that's pretty baller. Comes with four of those. Chinese eating sticks. Four beers. Mm. Well, this one comes with three beers because I drank one. <laughs> All right, so I, I originally already tried filming this video, right? Okay. But sake bombs are not something you do by yourself, unless you're me. There's not something. There's something that you enjoy with friends. Okay. You know what I mean? I mean so, that's why it's a four pack kit. Yeah. So you can right. you know have either one person, you guys each do two, or you have four people come over and then you try it. So um, you've done sake bombs, I'm assuming before. Oh, they came with these cups? Yeah, so it also comes with like four plastic cups. Again, $17. You're yeah, getting okay. four ceramic shot glasses, four beers, the sake, the, ch the chopsticks, and pretty fancy how-to-do box. Well, you're probably better off having a yeah. glass. All right, so we're not going to be using the glasses because he's fancy, um, uh, or the plastic cups because he's fancy, and we all know that I am not a classic bitch and if you guys remember from a previous episode from the two drink minimum channel uh which is one of the original uploads for the hyenas den channel we got these which is make beer not bombs from beer republic and the red rocket ale company um great glasses they were doing a promotional with uh, a couple of orange or citrus beers uh twist off so we're gonna go ahead and use the machete here Alrighty, so do you know anything about sake bombs? Not, not too much. Not too much. So okay. You know, do my sushi restaurants. Right. <laughs> um, so, sake bombs. You use any type of sake, uh, preferably cold sake, unless you're going to be drinking warm beer. A lot of people don't drink warm beer, so cold sake, cold beer, uh, or room temperature sake and cold beer. In the sake bomb, you're are originally supposed to chuck it. Their glasses that they give you to drink beer out of, Japanese glasses, are usually about half the size of the American beer glasses because, well, Americans are glutton. So we can do this one of two ways. It'll be leave it up to you. We can either fill the glasses all the way up with the beer and then do a full chug, or we can do a half glass of beer and then do two chugs or drinks. Two First two. one's going to be a chug. Second one, you don't have to. Whatever you want. All right, we'll do half. Uh, that way it's more drinking and more fun. So um, right now we're using Sapporo and I don't think I've actually done an episode on uh, Sapporo yet. Uh, you go ahead and choose your shot glass. Place your chopsticks. So um, what you do here is you go ahead and get your glass, get your beer inside of it. You're going to place your chopsticks on top. Um, now you're going to go ahead and place your shot glass, your sake glass, on top of the chopsticks in a perilous position because you're going to want to be using the oval chopsticks not the square ones because with the oval chopsticks when they're placed on when you hit the table they're going to shoot out a lot further um you're going to go ahead and place your sake into the shot glass do 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 like i said i prefer the um black and gold sake because it's a lot smoother to me personally and i'm a huge fan of it Another sake that I like would be the one from Bishamon, which is their own sake of Bishamon sake. Um, traditionally, when you do a sake bomb, you go ichi, ni, kanpai, and you slam the table. But we're American, so we'll just say cheers and slam the table. Cheers! <laughs> 